Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, recently, the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities launched Follow the Sun uh, international online campaign to promote tourism here in Egypt during the summer season. The promotional campaign was launched in a number of major markets exporting tourism to Egypt, namely the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, France, and the United States of America. In order to know more about this very important campaign, we're very much delighted to have with us over the phone uh, Dr. Uh, Yahya Abdel Eder, uh, tourism counselor. A very good morning to you, Dr. Yahya. Uh, good morning, Ms. Hala. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you very much, Doctor. Now, to start with, we, we want to learn more about the campaign, uh, how the idea started, and what are its objectives. Well, uh, really, the Minister of Tourism has been doing an excellent job, you know, like for the past year. Uh, currently, we have the Follow Sun uh, campaign, which is targeting major travel generating markets to Egypt internationally. We have the markets of the UK, USA, Germany, Italy, and France. Mm -hmm. And it is targeting the travelers, you know, like to enjoy culture, tourism in Egypt, and Luxor and Aswan destinations, as well as those who prefer leisure travel at the Red Sea Resort, uh, North Coast, and the Mediterranean beaches as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Uh, Yahya, I want to know also more about uh, the timing of, uh, of the campaign because it is targeting uh, promoting Egypt uh, during the summer season. So what about the, the timing of the campaign? Well, uh, definitely it's a perfect time because uh, farmer, you know, like uh, within the past month, we were conducting campaigns, you know, like on a sunny Christmas and in sunny January. And now we have the upcoming, you know, like seasons of uh, spring and summer. That's why we are targeting, you know, like uh, uh, these uh, markets and the Ministry of Tourism, they have an eight weeks uh, promotional campaign designed for these markets. And it's uh, an excellent campaign because it is a digital one. And this is a preferred the favorite media for the millennial generation uh, who uh, favor, you know, like social media. Uh, and it will be advertised and uh, launch it on uh, YouTube, Instagram, and uh, Facebook, which is a favorite platform for the upcoming generation. Yes. But, uh, yes, we know that uh, the younger generations are using uh, these uh, tools, as you mentioned, Instagram, Facebook, online. But how can we target them um, in a more direct way? Well, the, uh, the social media now is like about, uh, on average, like 2 billion are watching it. And like uh, the Ministry of Tourism is uh, hiring professional, you know, like a platform, you know, like to target this market. And I've been to the Egyptian Museum uh, recently, and I, uh, I met like lots of uh, young men and women generations who are the result of these intensive campaigns, you know, like to attract uh, visitors to Egypt. And recently we had, you know, like uh, major attractions uh, working uh, jointly with the, the promotion campaign. Mm. We opened the Fostat Museum for Civilization. We opened the Royal Carriages Museum. And the uh, Minister of Culture as well, uh, Aisha Thami Palace in Zamalek, has been opening like one month, you know, like free access to the public. So all these factors, you know, like is well advertised, publicized. That's why we have both local, regional and international visitors coming to Egypt. Yes. How can we measure the success of the campaign? Uh, for example, can we measure its success by uh, reaching one million followers or when we start having tourists actually coming to Egypt and, and um, according to statistics in that case? Well, really, it is both ways because, you know, like the organization that's involved with the Ministry of Tourism, they have their own measuring techniques like the, for example, the TV, you know, like they have the uh, uh, Nelson indicators, you know, you can, you, can, you can know how many viewers have been watching your program, for example. The same is generated with social media and digital marketing on one hand, and then on the other hand, when the uh, travel numbers increase in the volume to the destination, uh, and then you can still do like uh, like interviews, you know, like at arrival and the departure, and you know exactly, you know, like why these travelers are coming, what was the media they used, have they been influenced, process. So really, there are three, four ways to measure the success mm. of a promotional campaign. Yes. Um, do you think that the success of this campaign would actually promote uh, or encourage uh, uh, the Egyptian government to use 
the digital platform as um, as an effective way to bring younger tourists to Egypt? Would we see more uh, such campaigns in the future? Definitely, yes. You know, like uh, the Ministry of Tourism in Antiquities has been using this for the past three years with great success. And at least on a monthly basis, we invite YouTubers and bloggers like all over Egypt, you know, like I watch this, they come from the Gulf states, they come from all over the world. And this year we have great events that will promote Egypt as well. Uh, mm -hmm. This year is the, we celebrate the King Tut Centennial on November 4th, 100 years of, of uh, discovering the tomb of King Tut in Luxor. And uh, again as well, you know, like the opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum is expected to be on November 4th. Mm -hmm. So this is two great events. In addition to what the government has been diligently doing, like upgrading transportation networks, uh, the developments at the administrative capital, mm. is really drawing, you know, like uh, major, you know, like visitors to uh, attend, you know, like and enjoy these uh, aspects. Yes. Um, Dr. Yahya, the Ukrainian uh, crisis has affected the world in so many ways, politically, economically, and so on. But if we talk about tourism here in Egypt, because we had so many um, uh, visitors coming from Russia and Ukraine, especially to the resorts here in Egypt in Hergada and Sharm el-Sheikh. So to what extent did the crisis affect the flow of tourists to Egypt? Well, the, uh, the Ukraine market, you know, like uh, really is valued as like from 5 to 7 percent of the total travel market to Egypt. But, you know, like uh, look forward, inshallah, this crisis, you know, like will be over. But apart from that, the Ministry of Tourism has its own strategic plan to, uh, you know, like dig up, you know, like for uh, generating markets, you know, like worldwide. We still have many destinations, you know, like Latin America market. It's like uh, a long haul travel, but this is one of the areas, you know, like when I uh, was working at, when I was in Los Angeles tourist office. So the, uh, the Ministry of Tourism, they have, you know, like to look for markets to make up for the, for the damage that has been generated by the, uh, you know, like uh, stoppage, you know, like of uh, Ukraine travel to uh, Red Sea resorts. Yes. Um, tell us more, Dr. Yahya, about the preparations of the tourism sector here in Egypt for uh, the holy month of Ramadan, Eid al-Fitr, and the summer season. Well, before coming to this, you know, like we've been so fortunate because last week uh, we came across, you know, like an archaeological discovery in Saqqara Necropolis. Yes. Now we found, you know, like five Pyrrhonic tombs that uh, belongs to the Old Kingdom and to the Sixth Dynasty. And Dr. Anani announced this three days ago. So this is going to generate, you know, like more business to Egypt. And still the effect, you know, like of the Royal Parade on April 3rd, you know, like moving the antiquities from museum to Al Fustat and then the Rams Avenue opening renovation on the uh, November 25th. These are some of the major, you know, like uh, events that uh, is drawing uh, more, you know, like international business to Egypt. Mm. Of course, the Ministry of Tourism, you know, like uh, annually they conduct a campaign, you know, like for the uh, Gulf states and for the Arab market because they love to spend, you know, like uh, the month of Ramadan in Egypt where it is so colorful, uh, probably apart from the whole world, you know, like that uh, enjoys uh, fasting throughout you know, the Ramadan month. So the ministry is, is having its own plans as well to attract, you know, like, uh, as well, you know, like not only the Arabs and Muslims would like to come to Egypt, because when I work in New York, some visitor says, oh, everything is going to be closed and shut up. I told them this is the best time of the year because the city is quiet and you can enjoy your tours. And, you know, like uh, during the time there was, you know, like uh, free meals, you know, like during the start time. So some of the visitors would like to come, enjoy the tours, go to the museum, Luxus One, and when they go on the street, at some certain time, they were having three meals and they enjoyed it so well as well. Hmm. Okay, um, Dr. Yahya, you mentioned a while ago that Egypt plans to open new markets in, in several other countries, and you mentioned Latin America, uh, for example, and efforts ex exerted in this regard. Now, mm -hmm. yes, um, Egypt is also trying to open new markets in European countries. So how would that affect the flow of tourists and help boost the tourism sector? Well, you know, like Europe is accessible to Egypt. It's only like Greece is two hours away, Italy three and a half, you know, like Europe's Four hours, most of it, you know, like far away from Cairo. 
the major hub. So really, we've been having like European travel for like since the 17th century, and like through steamers and you know like boats and then airlines. Mm-hmm. So uh, we have you know like intensive travel relations with the tour operators in Europe airlines and the promotional offices. But still, there are uh, fresh markets, you know, like that's inaccessible due to the flight time. So this is one of the challenges the Ministry of Tourism has to work at to uh, promote travel. And then we have, you know, like uh, residents, senior citizens who like to come and live in Egypt, you know, like yes. like in Hagara and Sharm el-Sheikh and Fayyum. Yes. So this is one area we have to discover. Many countries are doing this, yeah. having, you know, like uh, resorts for uh, Senior, senior citizens, citizens that we could like yes. to come and stay for long periods. Yes, yes. I'd like to thank you very much, uh, Dr. Yahya Abdel Eder, Tourism Counselor. Thank you very much for being with us uh, this morning uh, in uh, this edition of The Breakfast Show. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this segment is over, but we have so much coming up uh, here on Al TV International in this edition of The Breakfast Show. Stay tuned. <laughs>